We often hear concerns about giving a child multiple vaccines um, simultaneously at one visit. Um, I always try to reassure parents that this is the safest way to give vaccines and there are many reasons for this. One is um, that is the way the vaccines were studied. Every time a new vaccine becomes available, we study it when it's given with the prior vaccines and we study the immune response in children and it's possible that giving them together is actually better because we don't know what the response is giving them separately. One of my colleagues, another infectious disease specialist, um, served in the military and he loves to make the analogy that our immune system is like the military and we put it through drills ahead of time to be ready when the real threat approaches. So giving it a vaccine is putting it in a drill, exposing it to a non-threatening um, uh, part of the pertussis uh, bacteria for as one example so that if it were ever exposed to pertussis it's it's fully ready to fight off that infection and prevent the child from getting sick. Sometimes children develop fevers after the vaccine and that can be concerning uh, to, to parents. Um, often that is the body's response to the antigen or protein that they were exposed to but that is actually an appropriate response and I actually tell people um, that, they, that that is letting them know that the vaccine is actually working.